Now, China has issued fresh warnings for Taiwan. Beijing says Taipei's leadership is pushing the self-ruled island into a war, threatening further quote-unquote countermeasures. This as Beijing continues its military drills around the territory. Chinese warships and fighter jets surrounded Taiwan on the second day of drills that Beijing said were a test of its ability to seize the island. Chinese state television even released an animation of simulated attacks on the territory. The animation shows Taiwan's island being surrounded by Chinese forces. The animation also shows missiles being launched from land, naval ships and fighter jets. The 3D animation goes on to show the missiles hitting Taiwanese cities like capital of Taipei and also the city of Kuaxiong. The two-day war games kicked off by Beijing were launched as it vows to the blood of independence forces on the island would flow after President Lai ching made an inauguration speech threatening Beijing. To which Beijing's defense ministry spokesperson responded, and I'm quoting from his statement, that Lai has seriously challenged the One China principle, pushing our compatriots in Taiwan into a perilous situation of war and danger. In the latest, the defense minister even alerted Taiwanese leadership of quote-unquote perilous situation of war and danger and added that it would go further if provoked. Amid all the provocations, the Philippine Defense Secretary has spoken in favor of Taiwan and said that Philippines will press efforts to build security alliances and stage realistic combat drills with the United States, Japan and Australia in disputed waters. We will train more realistically. There will be more maritime cooperative uh, activities between us and like-minded nations. More training scenarios. More interoperability exercises involving also our civilian counterparts. Taiwan's foreign minister, meanwhile, says the territory will not make any concessions because of these Chinese military exercises. The inauguration ceremony of the Taiwan government, which was elected by the people, is a happy event. And the fact that Taiwan is a democratic country will not be changed just because Communist China declares that Taiwan is a part of China. These ongoing drills are part of an escalating campaign of intimidation by China in which it has carried out a series of large-scale military exercises around Taiwan in recent years. Hence, this dispute has long made the Taiwanese Strait one of the world's most dangerous flashpoints. And this week's events have stoked fears that China may use military force to bring the island under mainland rule. The United States, which is Taiwan's strongest ally and military backer, quote-unquote strongly urged China to act with restraint. Even the United Nations called for all sides to avoid any kind of escalation. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.